right. Hello. Ramshackle here. And I have been experiencing a creative block all week, which I'm sure that many of you know is super fun. <laughs> so I figured I'd uh, make a video about how I like to deal with that. And, you know, maybe even how to recognize when it's even happening. Because I think that for me, that is a big part of it is I can't always see the forest through the trees. Um, trying to work on a project. This week it was, for me, it was, uh, I was trying to make another episode of uh, Freak Factory. And I was frustrated with the prompt system that I had going on. I wasn't liking the way any of my drawings were turning out. Started feeling more down on myself each time I tried another drawing and you know, you get into kind of a spiral. I don't know if it's like this for everyone, but this is how it goes for me. And the harder I, it's like the harder I try, the more I don't like what I'm doing and so the solution for that for me anymore is automatic drawing it's a something I learned about fairly recently and what it is is just drawing I guess without intention You try to suppress your conscious control over the artistic piece and just let let whatever comes out come out. And it's very um, it's very freeing. Um, it eliminates any sort of expectation from the whole process. And it's very meditative and and yeah and that's what I'm demonstrating here um, and I yeah I'd highly recommend trying it out if you are a creative type and experiencing any sort of creative block and I would say it probably would be a great tech because it's very meditative, right? I think it would be a great technique, even if you're not a visual artist, say you are a writer or, or anything really, like maybe you're just frustrated with your life. Um, you, you don't need any art skill whatsoever to do it. Your, your piece doesn't need to turn out like mine it can turn out like a bunch of scribbles on the page, you know? It, it really does not matter whatsoever what the drawing looks like. Um, and that's the point of it. Um, no expectations, no, no rules, just you emptying your mind to a piece of paper um, it can become a piece of artwork in the end, or it you can set it on fire in your backyard. And sometimes it's great to, you know, for me, um, it's great to set this sort of mental expectation that I am going to destroy it afterwards, even if I don't. Um, just to... you know, make it that much more like freeing. It, it, it kind of, it's 
liberating to just, you know, maybe draw it on an old, um, grocery bag or something with a Sharpie. And set it on fire when you're done. Um, you know, I mean, obviously be safe. <laughs> Don't light your house on fire. <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, that's the point of it. It's not because I see a lot of, uh, a lot of people call it doodling. And I think doodling isn't, um, I think it's maybe more of a broad term. Um, because what I'm talking about doing, there's, you, you know, you would never do a sketch. You could use a pencil, um, but, and you could even use an eraser, but editing is the, the, the thing you want to avoid. And, you know, that's why I don't use a pencil or an eraser. It keeps me a little more honest, I guess, with myself. Um, you know, because that's the thing is like you can you can sit there and erase and edit it and you know make it look however, but you're not going to be reaping the the personal rewards from that. And it, you know. When you do something like that, the only person you're cheating is yourself, right? So, yeah, it's the point of it is to to have the freedom, the lack of expectations, and uh, yeah, it just gets the the creative juices flowing, I guess, or however you want to put it. Um, but yeah, I'd highly highly recommend trying it. Even if you're not an artist, just even if you just need a, you know, you don't, you don't need to do a big drawing, like, you know, in a moleskin like I did. You could do it literally big pen on a post-it note during your lunch break um, and just kind of scribble a little bit, make some shapes, you know, that's how you start. And, uh, and then, you know, it can evolve into you know, so, something bigger later if you if you want to pursue it. But the point is, the point isn't that you're making a piece of art. The point is the the doing of it, right? And I think that's important, um, in especially nowadays with you know a lot of digital art and AI, um, you know, programs that create art and stuff like that is, you know thinking about why people make art in the first place and I think that the automatic drawing really like shines a light on that like shines a light on the fact that you're you're doing this as a form of self-expression um, and you know maybe it's therapeutic for you right and that's good enough, right? It doesn't need to it doesn't need to be some masterfully rendered piece with a message behind it and you know, it could just it could literally be any it could be some scribbles on a page. If it helps you get through your day, um, if it helps you to work on your next piece or if it literally helps you in any way whatsoever, it's com it's 100% worth doing. So, you know, screw the the AI programs. Point of it is, you know, whatever you got in there, putting that down on paper. Yeah, could be a good thing. But yeah, definitely try it. Even if you're not an artist, especially if you're not an artist, try some art. Um, so many people who, uh, you know, I talk to them about drawing or painting or something. They're like, oh, I can't even draw a stick figure. And it's like, so, so what? You know, that's, a, you know, <clears throat> the end product. If you're worried about what it's going to look like, you're missing the point of doing it. You know, it's uh, um, it's like going for a walk. 
in the park or something. Just gotta do it because it's relaxing. But yeah, anyways, I hope this was helpful for someone. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want to see more uh, stuff like this, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, yeah, keep making art. All right.